There is one kick that I'll probably never forget. Um, is down at Florida State. Uh, whenever we were down by two, I will never forget that kick. That was an awesome experience, especially to be at Florida State whenever it happened. So, um, I guess as you look at this senior year, you know you've had to, to play a leadership role probably more than you have in the past with BT coming in and stuff like that. I mean, how have you grown in that way, being a leader? Um. I would say that BT helped me become a leader just because whenever he came in, um, he was extremely highly recruited, highly ranked. And um, a lot of times with guys like that coming in, they'll have a big ego and like they'll kind of come in and expect to have the job. But that was not the case for him. Um, he came in, he put the work in every single day. And um, he didn't really come in expecting it to happen. And that was that was really cool. Um, and you, you don't see that a lot with five-star players. So. He's helped me become a leader, and uh, we've grown a lot closer because of it. So appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Debo actually said that you are probably you're one of the leaders that most fans probably don't know is such a big leader in the locker room. What kind of things do you tell, the, especially the younger guys, on game days and throughout practice, really? Um, well, one of the one of the main things I like to do is if there's a guy in power hour or if there's a guy that's been redshirted. Um, you're around these guys enough and you can tell if they're having an off day. And um, one of the main things I like to do is just go up to them and offer them just words of encouragement. Um, because just coming to a program like Clemson, um, you can't come in and think, okay, I'm gonna play immediately or I'm gonna play four years, I'm gonna play three years. Um, sometimes even play two years. And uh, that's, that's one thing that like the guys aren't thinking about. All they're thinking about is like, okay, like I don't, I don't get a chance to play. Like I'm grinding just as hard as everybody else every single day. Um, but like I don't get to play and it's it's kind of just offering words of encouragement to give them some hope for the future and uh, just let them know their time's coming so what do you know about the playoff process now that you didn't know your first year playoff process I would say um, so my first year coming into it so let's be recruited as a kid <laughs> so my first year coming into uh, it that's pretty tough. Um, um, I did not Being understand like, like the length of the season and how much it really takes a toll you on your body. Um, you just because like when you're a freshman or like whenever you're in go. high school, um, yeah. you could kick 30, 40 balls every single day and like your leg will never get tired and um, so, you won't feel I mean, that impact nice. uh, um, over the season. Just, like, see all but my freshman year, um, I kind of started to feel it just because it was, a it was a long season. We had 15 games, and, and uh, towards the end of it, I mean, I really recognized it most on kickoffs because you know, the, the kickoffs were going like five yards sh shorter than the beginning of the season. Like, what the heck is going on? And I was talking to some of the older guys. I was talking to Catman, Pena, and they're like, yeah, man, like, you got to save your legs. You really got to count your reps as you go on um, just because it'll start to take a toll, and you'll see that in the distance. And uh, it was, that was that's probably what I would say is the biggest thing is just together, focusing so. on recovery. Uh, it's Do you nice feel more pressure yeah, at moments like so this in the playoff when maybe these games are going to come down to your, your position and your role? Your own thing. Um, I wouldn't say I feel more pressure just because Coach Sweeney has us prepared. Um, uh, I mean, he puts us in pressure situations like all really the time like during the week. Here, and but, um, where he gets the guys surrounded, you know, he's just, like, hey, like, this is a game winning uh, field goal. Well, DK like, is from if you don't zone in, you're going to hear about it. So it's really cool being able to practice Alex. in an atmosphere like that. Um, another thing is you get being out there with guys DK like BC and Alex and Swicky. Uh, you know, um, so DK committed here. To help you probably, I, I can't even prepare was, for but, situations um, where you want to perform at your there, best, you're competing with them on a daily there, basis. Like, so it's awesome not like you can come in here and have a bad day. Like you want to have a great day, your best day every single day. Whenever and I can uh, that's one of the main things about, that like, um, we get to play together again, that you need so. to focus on whenever you go out for the kick. You can't think about the outcome. How do you All you have to think, think about is, hey, you're prepared. You've done uh, you this. Know, I think Just focus on your process, started. what you have to do uh, in order to make like a kick. Summer. And I know uh, you guys like to have fun, um, too, because this whole thing's supposed to be fun. Uh, at the end Cleveland and Christian went here just a few minutes ago saying they plan on maybe wearing some, I don't know, Texas-inspired stuff, maybe some bell vocals and stuff. Do you get in on all that stuff? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, uh, might have just got the cowboy hat down, from my mom for Christmas, maybe, potentially. Um, um, and then us specialists so, yeah, have just, a uh, surprise for you guys for the trip. So. Do we get a hint? And also, nope. Well, it's Christmas themed, we'll say that. 
There's, there's your hand. That's a cowboy hat for Christmas. It's a heck of a cowboy hat. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be prepared for it. Be prepared. Be on the lookout. <laughs> At this point, you're used to being in Clemson and at a bowl game for Christmas. What's it like for you to spend this last Christmas with your teammates in Dallas? I remember coming in here. I think it's going to be really cool. Um, the past couple years, we've had like one or two or three days off during Christmas. So we'd be on Christmas or we'd be home for Christmas and then we might have to come back on Christmas Day or. Um, like, oh, the day after, and then but it's, it's kind of pretty late. cool because you get used to being around all your brothers on the holidays, oh and um, it comes to but the nah, point to where it's, you it's appreciate been nice, being around them on the holidays, especially and it like, makes it more realize, like a family. Like, especially um, so being able like, to be no down there in Dallas, is, but, we're gonna have a Tuesday but, um, practice on, uh, on like Christmas. Where he is. Uh, we got our Christmas dinner tonight, but it's really cool. We're all extremely close because we're looking forward to it. So y'all do the Secret Santa thing every year. Is there anything that you have ever gotten or received that's just kind of weird or obscure? Uh, well, I'd say like one thing that wow, I do. Great question. Um, or have given. I have received a. Uh, on my leg. I've received huge. a Christmas sweater. I get a Christmas sweater and it had uh, a Christian no, Wilkins face yoga, on it. But we have this thing here. <laughs> and it was really did small. Christian give it to you? And, he did not. Um, that's wow. that kind of what made it. Uh, that's what made it and, weird. Uh, Okay. Also, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, on to you. What if you dress like Santa? <laughs> what, what's uh, the look on a Christmas? It was just his face. Like a Christmas away, design, and then just his face. I, I, didn't even know my I think we need pictures nice. of this. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find it. It hurts. But Greg, it you guys have done this for the last kind of like four seasons now. I mean, and you've been here for for each and every one of them. Does this does this get normal for you guys now? And if 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 so, just how do you kind of just I guess treat it because it's it is such a normal thing for you guys to make it to this point and expect to be in the playoff year in and year out i wouldn't say it gets normal for us um just because sweeney is constantly emphasizing um complacency and uh that's one thing that like we do not want in our program is complacency and that's why what's gotten us to this point is being able to focus on the importance of every single day of practice being able to focus on the details uh, being able to focus on the standard um, and playing to our best, not just to an opponent. Um, and that's why every single week we make it seem like, okay, who we're playing, that's a championship game. It's the biggest game of the season. So whenever you get to this point, um, I don't want to say it's just another game um, just because of the stage and the level that it's on. But another saying we have is the bigger the stage, the smaller you make it. So that once you get to this point, you need to – put even more emphasis on the details and uh, put more emphasis on the fundamentals in what you're working on throughout practice. So that really helps.